question I frequently get from people I meet or through emails and such, um, and I just ran into it again online. So I want to talk, make a short video about that, which I thought would be helpful. Uh, the question was, um, how is NCR neural, neural cranial rest uh, restructuring or restructuring um, different from endonasal technique? You guys might know that I'm an uh, advanced biostructural correction practitioner, and I also do endonasal technique. Um, so I've never taken any neurocranial restructuring classes. Um, I know enough about it. I'm, I'm I, I've seen it done. It's very familiar, but that's the caveat. So if someone, if someone does NCR and they disagree with something I say, please let me know. I don't want to misstate. Um, but as far as I know, oh, I'll read the answer that I found on, on, uh, on the line. And this is by Dr. Ben Eversage, who's another advanced biostructural correction practitioner. Um, he says, years ago, Jesse Chukowitz, who is the developer of advanced, bi of advanced biostructural correction, and Dean Howell, who is the developer of um, neurocranial restructuring, uh, met. Jesse helped Dean work out the testing points for determining what channel to put the balloon in. I'll explain that later. Uh, Jesse also took Dean's NCR course. A couple of years ago, which has been many years now, Jesse took what he learned from Dean and incorporated it into ABC endonasal. They are the same as far as testing, balloon insertion, inflation, and result. The only difference is that NCR prepares the patient with soft tissue body work and ABC prepares the patient with the ABC adjustment. Okay. Hopefully if, you, if you're watching this video you have at least an, you were understand what NCR is um, and that's how you found it. If you didn't uh, look at my videos on my website under endonasal correction. Um, so different channels means that you know we both have a nostril on the right and the left but these are we're just using those as access points to access different parts of the sphenoid bone uh, for making our correction. So when it talks about the different channels there that's what that meant. As far as preparing the body what is that about? Well well, one of the one of the kind of mis uh, misinterpretations of any any sort of cranial uh, balloon adjusting is that somehow we're just working on the nose. The nose is just the access point. What we're actually working on is the alignment of the skull. The skull has uh, different bones, and they don't have joints like the rest of your body, but they do have sutures. They they can just like the tectonic plates of earth can have be under tension and stresses. Um, and when we're working on that. It's not necessarily just the bones and the joints themselves, but underneath there is a connective tissue layer. Um, like if you've ever eaten crab or lobster and you break the shell apart, you know that there's dense connective tissue. It's kind of the same sort of substance um, in terms of its uh, physical properties. And that connective tissue layer goes, it encapsulates the skull, but it doesn't stop there. It actually continues all the way down through the inside of your spine and, uh, coats, and it covers the nerves uh, throughout the body essentially, but especially um, the densest parts. Uh, in the spinal canal. So when we work on this, we're accessing connective tissue that can have um, adhesions or be under tension from anywhere from the top of the skull, essentially down to where it inserts at the, the coccyx. Um, so we're addressing a system that's that big. So in doing that, do we need to have the correct access points, which can be anywhere along the spine, um, all the way up into the skull. And we need to make sure that we're not putting things uh, that things are in a in essentially relatively neutral position so that we can um, get to the part we need to and make the correction we need to. In NCR, and what I've seen uh, from the way they do things, they position the body and it, well, they, they might prepend that with um, muscle work of some sort. Like I said, I'm not a practitioner. You'd have to ask one of them. But when they do the correction, I've noticed that they put the person in uh, into a position which my understanding is that that's so that they can get the proper tensions at the proper points. Through ABC, we're doing structural correction in our advanced biostructural correction um, protocol so that the changes that we need to make are done by the time we put you on the table. And as long as we have you on the table in a neutral position, we don't need to worry about that. We're just going to worry about um, getting to our correct access point, which we do through um, the appropriate testing, which was discussed earlier. So that sounded like a lot of technical stuff. I hope that actually clears it up. The main points are that the, the actual endonasal parts of it are pretty much very similar. It's the work that we do beforehand to get to that that um, is done differently. And I, and, um, and if someone has any, ins if you have comments or if you have both these done, I would love to hear uh, about your thoughts and experiences. I do have people come in that have had both done. Um, they do sometimes note minor differences, but nothing that, um, you know, nothing that's going to be, you wouldn't pay, you wouldn't notice if you hadn't known other hand. So, my battery's running low. I gotta go, guys. I hope this was helpful. I'll talk to you soon.